Super Bowl 54 will kick off at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami this Sunday. While football fans line up to buy championship gear, the feds warn of the dark underside of football business. Fox's Alina Shirazi has a story from Miami. Ahead of this year's big game in Miami, criminals are aiming to line their pockets with money from desperate fans, looking to get a great bargain on deals that the feds caution are too good to be true. These are fraudulent goods that are coming into the country. This could include jerseys, rings, you name it, anything associated with the Super Bowl. Federal agents are increasing their searches and seizures. They're using high-end security technology, intercepting all sorts of goods. There are trademark infringements, and criminal organizations thrive on these items being sold. Agents say they're using trucks like the one behind me to x-ray every single item that comes into the stadium. Counterfeiting is not just some cheap trinket that you buy. It's a huge impact to the economy and the revenue of the United States. From 2018 to 2019, Customs and Border Protection agents say they seized almost 285,000 varieties of fake sports-related gear worth roughly $24 million. They've seen everything from jerseys to even knockoff Super Bowl rings. Some of their recent seizures happened in Philadelphia and Memphis, where packages shipped from China were headed for various addresses across the states. U.S. Customs and Border Protection seizes over $3.7 million of counterfeit merchandise every day. The bigger picture with counterfeit merchandise is that the proceeds, the profits generated from selling counterfeit goods goes towards other criminal activities, drug smuggling, human trafficking, sex trafficking, and it has a huge impact on the economy of the United States. Authorities warn the public of key things to look for when making a purchase. Things like misspellings, bad quality, or missing tags are all indicators of whether you're buying a fake. In Miami, Alina Shirazi, Fox News.